Hello out there and good morning traders. It's January 25th, 2024 and welcome to the Apteros Daily Market Insight. Let's get into our recap and then we'll update our uh, levels and session plan for today. So taking a look at yesterday's plan, we had uh, a line in the sand out here that was bullish and we were monitoring that for scenario one and then a possible scenario two was a breakdown of that area. One of the things that were discussed in the DMI yesterday was what the expectations were around this neutral zone. In other words, if we were pushing up above it, to continue to look for the upside if we got down below it to kind of sit on our hands and wait for the deeper pullback and then of course looking at that uh plan you know you can kind of see how everything played out the best opportunities obviously coming like kind of right into the open here um off of these two kind of inflections giving us a chance to get above our neutral area here really pushing out getting out into kind of wide open space here uh creating kind of a double top almost what it looks like there and then pulling back down again and that really was the main opportunity for the session based on scenario one uh for the entirety of the session just staying with that bullish picture early on and then once it kind of fizzled out you know getting rid of that position and waiting for the bigger rollover and that's exactly what we ended up seeing we saw a bigger pullback here coming all the way back in the line in the sand but by then it was kind of the end of the session so not much for us to do there um overall so not a lot of opportunity here as a matter of fact uh if you took no action at all based on, you know, just the overall context, what was happening perfectly fine within the scope of what we were planning for the DMI. The only real opportunities, like I said, coming off of this neutral inflection area and out of these two areas here were possible for looking for good turns in this market or good momentum shifts. The better one, obviously, being the second of the two uh, where you really saw clear buyers kind of taking control of the market and pushing up uh, to making new highs. So now uh, taking a look at today, we have an interesting landscape overall. Uh, our main line in the sand is this bearish one right here. And this is kind of the one that's going to take precedent for today. So scenario one is going to be a push down from here, monitoring this first neutral inflection, and then a possible continuation down into here. And that would be the overall target for this bearish idea. From there... Uh, we could see a, uh, a you know a move below that neutral reference there, heading into this bull zone down below, and that would be like the stretch target for the bearish opportunity. But overall, that's kind of how scenario one could play out for the session, uh, with neutral references kind of in between, heading down to that bullish zone. Scenario one is kind of the what is picture as to what we're looking at for today's session. Now. As we continue to look across the board here, if scenario one breaks down and we end up seeing a push back up again, we start seeing that market continue to rally. Uh, we have a neutral reference just up above here and then, of course, continuation out into open space again. So we would be dealing with that kind of wide open, very little targeting kind of situation where you'd have to be monitoring uh, some intraday tools or something or trend following in some way, shape or form in that particular scenario. Uh, but that's really the main gist of what we're looking for for today's DMI. Uh, to give you kind of an, an idea of what's up above here, there are some references, but they're up here, you know, around the um, 5,000 level, really. You know, that's kind of where you're looking. And overall, what do we do if the market does sell back all the way into this bullish area? So this bullish area, right now the market is not in what I would consider a truly dissonant state. It's a little bit more bearish right now. Um, overall, and it especially gets uh, a little bit more bearish if we start to get down below that neutral area. But as we do that, we head into this bullish reference here. Now, this bullish reference is something that we have to monitor for. So if we do get down there, the idea is that this bullish reference holds. We continue back up, monitoring this first neutral area here, and then a possible continuation all the way back. If it gets down below that, we start to enter some open space to the downside, um, and that would kind of be an extreme situation or extreme event for today. So just a heads up on, you know, what's going on here down in this bullish area. We are monitoring this and we will be monitoring this for a couple of days, I'm sure, depending on how the session plays out or shakes out today or tomorrow. OK, so for right now, with today's DMI, this is our main line in the sand. Scenario one, we're bearish below that. Scenario two, we're bullish up above that and monitoring that particular idea this is the overall target for scenario one so definitely something to pay attention to if we do get kind of an extreme day there is a possible stretch target down in this bullish line in the sand area as well all right trade well out there follow your process and make sure that you keep uh your risk and control